What's up, Scorpios? This is Crystal with Woman Crystal Tarot, and this is your incoming energy for the month of September. Okay, let's see. For those of you tuning in for the first time, welcome. I'm Crystal. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. And for those of you returning, welcome back. I do appreciate you guys for being here. Okay, this is for the sun, moon, and rising signs of Scorpio. Messages in this reading may or may not resonate with you, okay? Take what, what resonates and leave what does not. Uh, let's see. Some of the messages that come through in the reading may apply to you or they may be the person that you're connecting with. It may be their energy that I'm picking up on, okay? Please keep in mind. And if anything does resonate. Please go ahead, hit the like button, comment, subscribe to the channel. I'll be using two different decks here. I'm going to start off with um, the Tarot of Orisha deck. Show you guys the book. This is the book. This is the deck that I will be using to lay out the surface level energy, what appears to be going on. And then I'll be using my Miss Cleo Power deck to um, clarify the top deck. Clarifying um, basically is what's going on beneath the surface, the inner emotions, what's hidden in the situation. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started here. I did, a, I did a pre shuffle for Scorpio, and it looks like you guys have been separated from someone, or there was some sort of tragic ending. Um, because I did pull the tower in reverse. Maybe there was something that you guys are avoiding. There's a shift that's trying to happen um, with you guys. There's a some sort of sacrifice needing to be made there's definitely a shift that's happening um that you guys are avoiding there was either a breakup or a separation within a family there was there was some sort of a breakdown of a foundation okay and it's affected you guys there's been a lot of emotional turmoil turmoil within the situation but I did see where there is fairness coming in for you guys. Only if you're willing to do the healing or, or put in the work. Um, but there is fairness. There is eternal love. There is... Somebody really wants this connection to happen. I don't know if this is within a personal relationship or relationship as a whole. Like a family. Um, but somebody really wants to make this come back together. Scorpio. This could be with... Someone with children, I see, I saw something with, with children. It could have something to do with your children or someone else's children. I don't know. Or it could have been a situation that you were in when you were younger. But I did see soul ties, soulmate connection. Let's just see what we got for Scorpio. Sun, moon, and rising. We have karma. And I did pull justice in um, the other deck. So this is basically the same thing. So there, there is some sort of balance coming into play here. Some fairness. We've got death in reverse. That's basically the same as, um, what did I pull? The tower in reverse. This is basically the same. Some sort of change that you guys are avoiding. Let's see. You got Ace of Water in reverse. And I pulled Ace of Cups in the last one, which is basically the same thing as Ace of Water, but this time it's in reverse. And it was in that same position except the bottom. So this is this is coming together. This is some pretty strong energy that you guys are feeling. You got Eight of Water. And you got five of water. 
All right, let's clarify with the Miss Cleo Power Deck. Why well, is five of water here? Why well, is five of water here? A lot of water cards. So this is the same card as five of water. These two are the same, and they're mirroring each other. Got the world. Clarifying eight of water. Let me just say, guys, I'm feeling some very strong energy. Like, I'm, I'm feeling very, this this is plain and clear here. This this message that's coming through, it's coming in loud. It's coming in very strong and, and to the point. Six of swords. Clarifying ace of water in reverse. We've got seven of pentacles. Clarifying death in reverse. Last but not least, we have the full in reverse clarifying karma. So, like I said, this is just this is plain and clear and to the point. So the focus here, the center of the reading is Ace of Water clarified by Page of Swords. What this says to me is that um, some of you are trapped in this immature mindset, right? Like you are feeling the need to be suspicious. Like you're always on guard. You're always looking out for who could be trying to play you, manipulate you, hurt you. You're just, you're focused on, I don't know. I just get that you're very guarded. Some of you could be participating in a lot of gossip and Scorpios, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to fuss at you, but me as a person, like, I do take more of a, um, a mother type stance when it comes to giving these readings, so, for those of you that are kind of sensitive, I'm sorry, this may not be the channel for you, because I'm gonna give it to you straight, I'm gonna give it to you just like how I read it, okay, I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you, okay, Scorpio, alright, but anyways, um, yeah, some of you are just like, you know, you, you're thinking very petty. Like, you're being very petty about um, the way you are viewing this, your perspective on something, okay? And it's causing you to reject what's trying to come through. Because with the Ace of Water in reverse, upright, this is like an offer of love. This is um, eternal love. This is... love being shown to you in a way that is very fresh all right but because the way y'all are thinking or because of whatever happened in the past it's causing you to be like i don't know or i'm just getting like this <laughs> this vibe like like that y'all are having to walk away from the situation with the eight of water here you're thinking the worst of a situation. You're letting your darkness just take over. This is the ship, right? This is the ship to success. And this is your lower self. This is your subconscious. And it's drowning in this pool of negativity. And it's trying to take down your ship to success, okay? Being that the world is clarifying this card, this talks about lessons learned, okay? This talks about the end of a chapter. It's time to kill this right here so that your ship could sail across that motherfucker. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's time to keep going and leave that bullshit in the past, okay? There has been a cycle that has wrapped up here. And you guys are avoiding this change okay with the death being in reverse it, it, this is transformation this is transition this is taking going from one form to the next and you guys are hesitant about it because there's been a lot that's 
has been invested in whatever this is. I don't know if this is a relationship or or what. Only you know, okay? But there's a lot that's been invested. Some of you probably um you I feel like you just stuck on you put stock in something, right? You put you put your stock in in something. When I say stock, I mean whatever whatever that means to you emotion time energy effort you put stock in something right and it's trying to grow but you are preventing this growth from happening by your thoughts alone scorpio and it's because of whatever happened in the past you were treat how you were treated somebody left you out in the cold or left you for dead or at least that's how you took it that's how you feel like somebody left you out in the cold and because see if you look here five of water is a man he's drowning or you know he's trying to hold on to this limb for dear life but it's clarified by five of cups in reverse and this is basically the opposite like you don't have to be in this state forgiveness is here let go of the guilt some of you, I feel like some of you feel like you put yourself in this in this state, right? Hold on, I'm because I'm getting a download. This may resonate with some of you, some of you it may not. But subconsciously, some of you feel like you put yourself into this state. You felt this sense of guilt. You felt like I don't know. You just beat yourself up about it, and some of you feel like you deserve. You deserve to be in the pain that you were in. And I want you to know that you need to stop. Like, that That has to stop. That has to stop. Stop beating yourself up. Stop lying to yourself. Stop letting this monster try to sink your ship. Because that's what's happening. You're, like, your lower self, it's a battle between your higher and your lower self. It's just like, you know... You, you watch um like older television shows where they have like you know the angel and the demon sitting on the shoulder it's like that your higher and lower self your conscious and subconscious like just going at war with each other but i'm here to let you know that your higher self is going to win you're going to pick yourself up and take yourself out of this state of guilt or out of this state of lack or feeling like whoever it was that hurt you is going to continue to hurt you or or is out to get you because there is karma here good karma coming to you so if you experience some sort of betrayal hurt or you know um lies manipulation whatever if you've experienced that in the past there's there's a new beginning here but you're you are blocking it like you're not trusting enough that this thing is going to change. This thing is going to turn around for you. You don't have enough trust in the situation that you're in. But there's change. There is change. And I feel like if there's somebody around you that you're close with that hurt you in the past or displayed any sort of characteristic uh, characteristics of um someone who's dishonest or whatever just know that you know they're i feel like they're trying like they want to offer a higher level of commitment or they want to offer a new beginning you know they want to apologize for whatever it is but it's just that you are so guarded and you are thinking so petty and they feel it this could be vice versa Maybe you did all the hurting and uh, lying and cheating, betrayal, and now you feel bad and you want to come out of that energy. You want to apologize to this person and offer um, a high level commitment to them. Take it how it resonates. Whatever it is, somebody is thinking really petty and, and they it's, it's because they, they just don't have trust. They don't have enough faith. So I think that uh, incoming energy for September is working on your, your trust and faith and Ultimately loving, ultimately loving yourself. Because I feel like there is a lack of self-love here because of so much damage that has been done in the past. And we're only at about 15 minutes. So I knew that this was going to be very to the point. It's 
kind of short. I'm going to go ahead and get into your Chakra Insight Oracle card for advice. What advice do we have for Scorpio? Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Sexual. Oh, we got two cards here. Okay, you got lucky, Scorpio. Two cards stuck together here. You got home and sexuality. So let's see how that relates to you, I guess. Or this could be like split up for two different sets of Scorpios here. Maybe one of these cards resonates with you, the other one doesn't. I don't know. Take it how it resonates, like I said. The number four may be significant to some of you. Look it up. Or the number 13 could be significant to you, okay? Let's get into it. Wait, where's my book? Oh, okay. All right. So, home talks about shelter, safety, nurturing, and warmth. Our home is meant to be our haven, a solid base where we can feel safe and nurtured, a place where we can drop our guard and feel at ease, free to be ourselves. A home is a living container of self-expression. A creative reflection of who we are is your home currently reflecting your true and highest nature or are there areas that need to be cleared out and rearranged this card is a call for you to take the time to recognize and create your home as a sacred reflection of yourself choose colors and photos that represent aspects of your nature that you must want to bring out fill your home with the vibrancy of living plants and the smell of fresh flowers Clear away clutter and open the windows to allow fresh air and new energy to flow in and out with ease. This card encourages you to put love and time into your house as, as it's these things that make a house a home. Give yourself and your home. Sorry. Give yourself and your home will reflect this love back to you. I like the place because I feel like there is some hurt. Like, I mean, it could be from the childhood, like I was saying earlier, it could be from the childhood. Maybe um, some of you didn't really have a home or maybe you did have like really loving and nurturing parents. And that could be playing a part right now. Um, but you're having to grow up, I feel like. For some of you, this message may not res resonate with everybody. But for some of you, you're having to be your own parent right now. Like... Because you've reached a new level of consciousness, you have to look at yourself as, you know, your own baby. This is what self-love is. You take care of yourself as if you're the parent that you've always wanted. All right. Sexuality, number 13. It is time to express and experience your passions and desires to honor the power of your sexual energy as a sacred creative life force, not only in your union with another, but also in your life. On a surface level, this card is an invitation to become aware of and communicate your sexual values, needs, and wants with your partner. On a deeper level, it is time to raise your, raise your awareness of the divine aspects of your own sexual energy. To acknowledge yourself as a sexual being, not as pop culture perceives it, but as a pure expression of creative life force in all aspects of your being. Seek to recognize and feel this divine energy in your intimate partner as well as in yourself. Acknowledge the beauty in the meeting together of two souls. Feel the energy exchange. Allow the pure love and pleasure of giving and receiving to envelop you and move through you. Allow yourself to be fully present in that sacred space. Expressing your sexual essence can be innocent and intense, playful and fulfilling, joyfully creative and deeply sacred. Honor the sacred power of your sexual energy in life. So for some of you, it just came to me. Um, it's kind of dark, but some of you could have experienced um, molestation at some point. Rape, and if this is a trigger, I'm I do apologize, but I just have to I have to say it as it comes out, like as the message 
comes to me. But for some of you that you unfortunately have experienced that in your past. And this could be playing a part in what it is that you're feeling today, how you move in relationships. Um, honestly, I can't speak on how to heal from that. I've never experienced that before. And um, I'm not going to sit here and act like, you know, I'm some professional and I know all the answers and, and how to heal in that department. All I can say is that you are better than any any type of experience like that. You know, any any type of degrading experience like that. You 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 are better. You are not that experience. Okay, so you don't have to move in that type of energy. You don't have to. Let that define who you are and control your decision making. You don't you don't have to. I do know that. So some of you could be very guarded in thinking the way that you do just because of, of what has happened. Um some of you could be a little embarrassed about your body image. Like you could have poor body image. Um Others of you are just unaware of how powerful sex is. Like, like I said, the meeting of two souls. It's talks about openness, sharing, beauty, honor. Scorpio is a very sexual energy, period. Like, y'all are, y'all have a rep of being very sexual. It's time to explore that on a deeper level and not just on a surface level. Some of you are having to cut soul ties. Some of you are creating soul ties. Like, deeper ties with someone. But you have to trust what it is that you feel like. For those of you that are in a relationship and you're just like, oh, shit, I'm getting in too deep in this situation. You got to ground yourself. Like I said, starts with home. That's your safe haven. You need to take the time to ground yourself. And let yourself be 100% vulnerable in a, a space, which is home, I believe. Like, you need to allow yourself to be 100% vulnerable because I feel like some of you weren't allowed to do that at a certain point in your life. Or you, you never felt like you could 100% be yourself because you were always guarded or felt like somebody was out to get you. But you have got to figure out how to be more open and be more fluid because that's who y'all are. Y'all are a water sign. And not honoring that and going against that is going against your higher self. Your higher self, which is made in the image of God. Like, you're not honoring God that way. So you've got to find a way to... Let that guard down just a little bit and be unapologetically yourself. Be free. And understand that, that there's people that really love you and are trying to accept you for who you are. Or more accept or more accepting for who you are than what you realize. Because some of you I feel like you're battling. Um you're battling with uh, who you are and, and being accepted, I feel like. Accept yourself first. Like That has nothing to do with nobody else. You have to accept who you are and stand on it, you know? Be comfortable in that. If you guys would like a more tailored reading, you can definitely book a personal reading with me. That is listed in the description box below. Also, like I said, if anything in this reading resonated with you, please hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe to the channel.
And that's all that I have here. This has been your incoming energy for the month of September, Scorpios. And if no one else tells you today, I love you, I love you, I love you. Peace and light.